In today's video, we're going to be discussing three things. First, the inside of an extension cord, two, how to strip a wire, and three, how to connect wires. We're going to need scissors or knife, wire caps, an old extension cord, wire strippers, pliers, and wire cutters. Let's take a look inside an extension cord. If you follow my other electrical videos, you'll recall there's a green, a white, and black wires coming out of the ceiling and walls, as well as the ceiling light. And now you're seeing that the extension cord has a white, black, and green wire as well. On the extension cord, you can see a white sleeve that covers the three wires and some thread-like materials inside the wires. These materials really are there to help protect the wires and insulate them. You can cut the white sleeve to expose the wires that we'll be working on today, but be careful not to cut the wires inside the white sleeve. This particular wire stripper has multiple wire sizes marked on the stripper, so you avoid cutting the wire all the way through. Locate the notch on the wire stripper that represents the size of wire you're working with, and then slide the wire into that particular notch and clamp down. This will not cut the wire all the way through just the casing. Once the wire casing is cut, you can pull it off by pulling it away from the wire with your strippers. Just like that. <clears throat> Let's practice connecting two wires. Since this is just for practice, we're going to connect an extra wire to the black wire coming out of the extension cord. You're going to twist the wires together. It may be easiest if you use pliers to twist the wires together, and you're welcome to do that. And this is the, you know, the same process that you're going to be using if you're installing a new ceiling light. The second thing you need to be worried about is how do you secure those twisted wires? And you're going to use these wire caps. And if you look inside of the wire caps, they have a metal piece. And you just put it over the wires and twist them down. Make sure that your wires are secured. And then, you know, like I said, use pliers if needed to twist them and then put your wire cap over the top of them, screwing it down until it's tight and secure. Wire caps come in a multitude of different sizes, um, and you'll need to find the one that works best for your particular project. That is how you secure your wires. I hope you found this video educational and easy to follow. Please click the like and subscribe buttons below to let us know if we're meeting your needs. If you have suggestions for other videos, please note them in the messages below.